A kindergartner in New Jersey recently won a $170,000 lawsuit settlement after getting injured on a playground slide. And this happened at a grade school in New Jersey back in 2014. Apparently the kindergartner went down the slide during recess and sustained injuries to her right hand and arm. And the family hired a, an attorney and they ended up getting a $170,000 settlement because the argument that was that the slide was slightly a little too steep. You, you probably know the details more than I do, Brian. What, I mean, what was come the? Come on, Brian. This is. I mean, come on. Can't we just be kids and play? And I mean, 170, 44,000 goes to the attorney. Who has to pay the this whole bill? It's the school district and the city that can put that money to much better use to help educate kids, make a better playground. I'm sickened by this. Lawyers, <laughs> lawyers are out here keeping us safe. That's all we do. If it wasn't for lawyers, cigarette companies will still be advertising that cigarettes are good for you, okay? What we do is when someone's injured, we do an investigation to find out whether or not that injury could have been prevented. And then we litigate if we find out through our experts and our investigation that the injury could have been prevented, then we litigate to make sure this accident doesn't happen to somebody else. And it's not us, we don't levy this money against these companies. What we do is take it to you, the people, and say, hey, this is what we found, what do you think? And 12 jurors, 12 of you who show up for jury duty, make that number and say, this is what needs to happen, this is what changes need to be made, this is what damages the victim suffered, that's why they come up with these numbers. Those are mostly medical bills, so they are $170,000. Well, they said it was 17,000, so it's only a tenth. 10% 10 was medical bills, 44,000, so what percent is that? That's, that's a third went to the attorney and the rest, but the I case, mean, who, well, who the case was won because if somebody so. dangles that carrot in front of you and say, okay, the kid junior is going to be okay, there's medical bills, are, he's not permanently injured, and the rest they pocket it because the slide was five, deg five degrees too steep. Okay, so the standard slides in preschools and school age kids should be 30 degrees. And this slide was 35.2 degrees. So, in your opinion, as an attorney, is that worth $170,000? Because yes. of the injury. Yes, let me tell you why. Okay. That five degree difference is the difference between getting hurt and not getting hurt. So, so it's all good until it's your kid that gets hurt. Okay, so if, had the, if the slide had been what it was supposed to be and the child got hurt, what would, be, what would your opinion be in that particular case? The child would not have gotten hurt. That's why they have the guidelines to say that the, the, the slides can't be that steep. So. Slide aside, do you think that there would still be a case if a child is at school playing and they just happen to get injured if everything is what it's supposed to be on the playground as far as the angles and degrees and all of that? No, that happens all day, every day. Kids are getting hurt on playgrounds and they're not lawsuits and okay. they're not judgments for $170,000. Okay, so These things only happen when there's a problem that okay. could have been corrected. And that's what lawyers do. We go in there and say, hey, this is a problem, and we correct the problem so it doesn't happen again. Can I ask a question? Because there are probably a lot of people out there who their kids play at playgrounds, or quite honestly, they may be even installing a playground in their own backyard for their kids to play. Where, how, how does someone know when they're installing a playground? How do they know that they're doing it the right way? Because again, I, I, this 35.2 versus 30 degrees, realistically, the school district probably had someone come in and install the slide and no one probably knew it was too steep. But how, like, how can someone proactively make sure that they're within the proper guidelines when it comes to stuff like this? Well, these were federal guidelines, okay. so that's nationwide. Okay. And what you can do is, you know, when you're installing a slide, you need to look at the manufacturer, follow their instructions and make sure that everything's safe. That's what lawyers do. We make sure these companies that are building these slides are making the product safe so it will be intended for safe use.